So getting a real uh, race car feel in a set of uh, sim pedals is uh, really a lot about the brake. The, the throttle and the clutch is is so-so, but having the right brake feeling is essential. As I talked to you uh, about before, there are a lot of things in a real race car system that you don't need in, in, in a simulator. So if we start here with our newest and the brand new brake cylinder, uh, Thorpe, it's called, it says twin hydraulic opposite rapid pistons. That's why we call it Thorpe. But what it really is, is a brake cylinder made just for sim sports. As you can see, there are no tubes, there are no lid or caps where you can uh, lose the fluid. Pretty much like uh, our liquid cooling, it's sealed from our factory and it has an oil inside. This oil cannot handle high temperatures, so you don't really have high temperatures in your living room. At least not that you will damage the oil. So this product should actually work directly from us and you never need to, uh, to worry about it. The way it works is just like the brake cylinder from the real race car pedals and just like the, the pistons in the brake caliber, they can move. So if I press this, you will see this one goes in and this one is from the brake pedal. I'll show you in a second on our pedals. But you can see this is how it works. So like in a real car basically, but the difference is everything is combined here in one sealed unit. Then we have a, a pressure sensor on top, again, like in a real race car. And the way we test this, we'll show you in a, in a, in a second how we test here at AC Tech. But the idea is that this should be able to withstand up to 200 bars of pressure. We design it for 1 million activations. So you would be a pretty hardcore breaker to, to wear this part out. 